Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and what we're looking at is a clip from a live stream on Twitch from my uh, German brother Preddy here. He's an excellent, excellent magic player, uh, ranked very high, if not first place, in the uh, uh, Mythic rankings last uh, season on Arena, I believe. And uh, what's going on with his, with his lands there? What's uh, what's going on there? You think? <laughs> I had to mute the audio because. Um, He's got nothing nice to say about this guy. I don't speak that much German, but I picked up on some words and he, he ain't happy. And boy, he had something to say about this guy in two languages. Honestly, the chat was blowing up. Everybody's like, wow, cheater. And uh, hey, hey, Ozan, name of his opponent up at the left there. You just lost your entire account, your entire collection, and your magic career is over. Sorry, don't let the door hit you on the way out. You asshole, he was recording this. What an idiot. But uh, yeah, uh, basically the, the point of this is uh, his lands are being hovered over and his client has to draw the 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 game state changed in like what's being hovered and then take an action it's like what is going on here's an event the event occurred handle the event and then the result is oh look we fade in and fade out a little you know white border thing to i guess give you some information about what your opponent's looking at or whatever they could get rid of the whole damn system for all i care yeah occasionally i get information from it but who cares i'm sick of people dance around the cursor just to be a jackass and just like just highlight bomb your face and that you know people used to do that more it's annoying. Can we stop? So I say delete the whole system, but uh, in my opinion, I mean, I'm a programmer, but not a games programmer. I think that the games engine has what would be the equivalent of like a polling rate or like a minimum delay between events or something like that. Um, and, and it probably has a hard limit on how many events can happen per second. So it doesn't accidentally like do them at the maximum that your CPU can handle and basically freeze up the game under any circumstances. So if enough actions jam it up in, you know, a hundred milliseconds, then there's not room for any more actions, which means that you can't click on things, drag things, cast spells, do blocking assignments, whatever. And as you can see in this footage, he does have trouble with that. So in my opinion, the first goal appears to be to just crash the person's computer. And this is, you remember the color changing cat or whatever the hell it was, whatever that pet was, maybe it was a dog, I don't know, where you would like change the color, like just spam the living hell out of it. And uh, if your opponent's running into like me an i9, a 1080 Ti and 32 gigs of RAM on a 100 meg connection, uh, you could do that while I'm running six copies of Firmark and not freeze my computers. Sorry. But if somebody's playing on like a garbage laptop, a Microsoft Surface, like something with Intel on board or like, you know, some A6 APU or something that wouldn't be able to handle it, some shared memory design disaster oh they can't draw that many uh, uh what would that be considered sprites i don't even know i've been out of programming for so damn long but you can't draw that many things uh until you like freeze up the cpu and or the gpu so people just hit it a couple hundred times their opponent like disconnects as the game freezes and crashes and so they made it so you could only change the color of the cat or whatever the hell it was like once per second that was their fix well now they're doing it with highlighting and uh i'm not going to say exactly how they're doing it obviously i'm not going to tell people how to do this let's just say he's not using the mouse that's in his hand to move the cursor like that it's one of two other ways but i'm not going to say hey guys here's how you go cheat but uh, one of the people that reported this to me uh, said that uh, he had seen it in high-level competitive play himself about, quote, 20 times. Oh, so this is getting widespread, and this clip has several thousand views, so I'm not, like, oh, breaking this story. I just wanted to make everybody aware of it. So the overall goal is to either use this like they did with the color changing to literally crash your opponent's computer if it's pretty weak and slow, or it's to jam him from being able to take actions and time him out. Because if you sit there and don't take an action, you're going to time out. So he eventually tries uh, rebooting the client and jumping back into the game. That didn't help. And the guy ends up winning the second match because he's running, you know, Red Rush, Gimmicky, Ember Cleave, horse shit. Uh, what would you expect from a cheater? I'm actually surprised he doesn't have a Teferi or Ugin uh, profile avatar. It's an archetype, these cheating douchebags. It, it's, you can see him coming a mile away. The deck type they pick, the uh, profile picture they have. It's a whole package. So yeah, he just got an illegal win by cheating. Um, I'm not sure if this actually was some kind of CFB thing. It looks like he's just in matchmaking. I don't know. I assume that was earlier or later in the stream. This was a warm up or something. I don't know. He does have event record though, but I don't know, whatever. So I just wanted to make the video to raise awareness so you guys can all in large numbers go tell the arena devs to fix this. If it gets back to them and enough people are like, this is really bad. Can you fix this? It would be marked as ultra critical high priority because this is just outright blatant cheating. And uh, myself personally, I, I can think of five to ten ways to fix this pretty easily so we'll see something so this, this ain't gonna be in the game real long but uh yeah people like this exist uh there's still rumors of even worse hacks to the game but nobody's been able to provide me with proof every time i say you know what send me send me a link then send me a, to the page where you can download it to the place where they're advertising the place where you can buy it not so i can buy it but so that i can screenshot it and then show it in the video just to prove hey here it's real you know so like the uh, allegations of hand spying where they can see what's in your hand, I've seen some very unusual things that would suggest that's real. 
there's a rumor floating around based on some shaky evidence that they've already patched whatever vulnerability that was, so we didn't even know about it, and they kind of ghosted it. But uh, here's one more bonus real one for you. I heard this only happens in the Apple version of the client, but I haven't been able to fully confirm that. You ever seen this screen? This is what happens when you connect to the developer's test server, which people accidentally did after their shitty Mac client blew up. It, like, froze up or whatever. They relaunch or, or something like that, and this is what they get. So it's a little scarce on details, but I I've seen, like, Cell phone shots, screenshots, everything. I've seen enough to prove it, and it's kind of kind of floating around a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's bad to let people onto the dev server. That's not good. Or um, give out the direct server address, the domain name of the dev server, which I have obviously blurred out, among other things. People who are like, hey, guys, what the hell is this? And posting online without blurring it. Um, I mean, I'm not going to participate in that, but let's just say now it's public information where the dev server is located at. That can't be good. They're probably going to move it. Kind of a funny, obscure nickname they chose for it, too, but I'm not going to say it. So, yeah, everybody's like, oh, look, there's secret behind-the-scenes controls. It's called, like, rig deck and stack deck and do this and do that and force a reshuffle. Oh, that means other people are doing this to cheat. No, those are tools only on the dev server. I can virtually guarantee you that. I mean, I don't work for them. I haven't seen the source code. But looking at this, I would only turn those features on and this control panel on if you're on the dev server, the beta server, the testing server, the whatever, admin server, the cheater server, whatever you want to call it. Not the main production servers. Rule number one of game programming, or even programming in general, don't test stuff on the live active server. So when they're testing something of this, they want to just spam it, just reshuffle, 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 reshuffle. Or they want to stack the deck to just see what happens when these cards interact. Does the animation go off? Does the trigger work? They're not just going to sit there and play a game and wait for it to happen, or like hope that it happens. They're, they're going to hit the button that says stack deck, and they're going to stack the deck. But I can almost guarantee you those features are not enabled on the public servers. So everybody's freaking out. Oh, secret cheat, secret hacking interface. Oh my God, the game's ending. The world's going to blow up and the sky is falling. Well, yeah, obviously, but only because of the mismanagement of the standard format, not because of all this horse shit. So how it accidentally logged in random public players to the dev server, I'm sure they're interested in what part of the code did that, and hopefully they fixed it at this point. I gave them enough time before I wanted to show this in a video, that's for sure, you know, out of respect and safety for them and the game. I don't want to cause any more damage. Thus also the blurring, because I understand everything that's on the screen and I understand what's sensitive. I will say it is theoretically possible that this was supposed to be just a little separate window overlay thing for testing, and it accidentally came up for a random user, a non-admin, non, you know, orange name player, aka the devs, but he was actually connected to a public server that's named something unusual in my opinion. In that case, uh-oh, although I had heard that this was full screen and they weren't able to get past it. So I think the whole create room, join room thing, I, I think they were on a dev server. I, I don't think that this was the admin testing interface on the public server. I don't think so. But that is a possibility. If that were the case and people found out that this was an available thing somewhere in memory that they could activate by manipulating the game while it's running, uh-oh, that would be bad. That would be extremely, very unbelievably bad. So this might be a nightmare scenario. In my opinion, it isn't, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, just uh, just two horrible things to be aware of. Uh, one's just a uh, you know, pie in the face of the devs and oh my God, how could they do this? But it doesn't really affect anything. And the other one does affect everything. So hopefully they're going to patch it quick. Otherwise, uh, honestly, I wouldn't jump into high level tournaments. Uh, I'm not going to say, oh, don't touch Arena, ooh, it's dangerous. It's just don't expect to win. Expect to come across these people getting worse every day until they patch it. So don't, you know, put many coins or gems on the line. Just saying. Thanks, Wizards, for the completely careless game design and, and not putting limitations on anything and not when you get done with the code thinking, so what is the worst asshole in the world going to do to exploit this? If I was an enormous jackass, what would I do to try to purposely screw at the game to see if it works? Because they would have came up with about 100 things among which this would be on the high list. High priority list, I should say. So anyway, yeah, that's that's what's going down in Arena lately. Wish I had better news, but everything's shit in 2020, including Magic. So uh, at least I can fix this a lot easier than the standard meta. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next video.